Welcome back. So we're actually going to do the same thing that we did earlier with the MVC solution. So we're going to remove this context right here. That's out of the way and we get a lot of errors. And now we're going to instead use our repository. So hopefully you remember we could do something like I repository. And in this case, it's going to be wishes. So I repository, that's something I get from the DLL layer, right? And in there, I'm going to say it's going to be a wish repository thing. And I'm just going to call it uh, WR wish repository. And then it's going to be using the the DLL facade and from there I can get my wish repository right pretty much the same thing that we did earlier uh, no change there and then we're going to just override all of these guys on for instance how we get a wish well we're going to say uh, read to get all the wishes now they're going to ask for a linkable um, solution here but we actually instead want to return a list when we read stuff now that's just a choice I made earlier we could have made an iCurable but we want to make the tool list right away. So I'm going to convert the iQueryable into a list of wishes. Now, generically, this could have been even better by making uh, one of the superclasses of the list. So right now we are making a, a list, but there are actually more generic types of lists that we could have used instead. Let's look back at, back at that later. Now, we're just returning a list of wishes. Not an important thing right now. Down here, when we have the find, again, we're going to use our with repository to actually grab the wishes um, and then we do a read where we actually put in the ID. Rem remember it's, again it's just the same like we did did earlier. We're going to just overwrite all the places. I'm even going to turn this, turn this into a variable instead of uh, because I know it's a wish. I know it's a wish but it's up to you. You can keep the wish there as well. Let's just scroll down further. Get another error here. There we're going to set the state to modified so this might be the, the, the this is the update right? And we say if the model state is not valid, we'll just send back a bad request, meaning that something went wrong. But if we actually have, if the wish ID is not the same, so we send in both an ID here and also an ID in here. And they do not match the ID in the URL with the ID in the wish. I'll show you this in Postman later. Then we actually get a bad request back as well. Where we could say something like, you can send a message here saying IDs did not match. Something like that. You can put in any any name you want. And then the last part here is actually to try and update it. And I'm just going to go in here and use our WIS repository to actually update the wish that we just got sent in from the outside. Right? So no biggie there as well. Let's just move forward. Here it's going to do a post and again same problem. If, it, if the things are not valid we're not going to allow it. But if it is valid, then we're going to use our wish guy to actually create something again. And that's going to be the wish again. Now again, this is um, fairly simple now. You've done it before inside the, inside the MVC solution. I do a read here and I'll use the ID. But again, I'm just jumping over all the places where we're actually using the context directly and using my data logic layer instead. Now, <clears throat> why do I do this? Well, it's to make it more generic. So if I want to switch this layer out at any point, inside the DLL facade, I can do that without a problem. I'll just change it inside this guy and I can use any type that's an I repository. So, it's, so I'm making my solution more, more generic, more reusable. So what do we have? We have the delete. Well, the same problem here. If it, the wish is not there, we're going to send back not found. If the wish is actually there, we're going to use our wish repository to actually do a delete. And we're almost done. So let's just run over the last ones here in this video. So the dispose is actually not required since we are working with the um, we are always working what we call stateless, meaning that we are going to get a new connection every time and the connection will dispose when we're done since we are putting it inside a using statement. We talked about that earlier as well. The last one is not ex uh, not exciting anyway, so we just remove that as well. And let's just, uh, all the yellow ones here, that's actually different packages we do not use or need. Just remove them when they're not there. It makes the solution easier to compile. Sorry, that was an extra thing, but now the control is actually ready to be used. So next, let's try and use it. See you next time.